All right, we're here in round two against the, I believe it's a black-white exalted deck. We'll play first. Yeah, this hand is good. I like it quite a bit. What are some of the cards uh, my opponent's got? He's got uh, Liliana's Shade, a Johnny Sunstriker, uh, Mark of the Vampire, Guardians of Akraza. Um, I'm not sure what else. Okay, he mulled, which is good. Hopefully our arsonist is as good in this match as I want him to be. Ooh, Essence Scatter. That was a good draw. Question is, do I scatter this early? I mean, I guess it depends on the threat, really, but I uh, feel like I'm likely to. Uh, yeah, why not? Even Squire's a good card. I mean, I realize that Arsonist can get rid of it pretty much at any time, but, um, well, I guess drawing the land there was a little bit weaker. Oh, I should have played an island, too. Uh, for the water course that I'm going to be playing this turn, but hopefully it doesn't matter. We'll see. I mean, it's, I guess it doesn't really matter because I can't use it three times, but uh, I, I think I should have just played the island anyway. Water course is a good card. I love this card. Yeah, like right now, so good. I mean, right now, it's better than Centaur Corsair. And that is saying a lot. Alright, so he's going to know that I don't have tricks now, but... That's okay. So, maybe we can hope once again that Mark of Mutiny gets there. But, uh, actually, Water Corsair Kindled Fury is pretty ridiculous. We will definitely be doing Kindled Fury on that giant scorpion. On summon, also good. Um, I really like that we've got the unsummon now, because we've got the out to Mark the Vampire, which is good. Okay, so we pump. Oh wait, didn't even have to do it, but doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um, yep, we're all good. Tended night. Pretty annoying. But yet, okay, with the unsummon. And Chandra's Fury actually is going to be even more devastating. That was a good draw. Because I'm going to attack with Water Courser, and he's going to block with Attended Knight and Soldier. And I'm going to blow him out, hopefully.
I'd say that was pretty good. No problem here. One of uh, the black white, there's another black white deck, I think. This might be the one that has it. Uh, one of them's got Neferox, so. Something to keep in mind. Hmm. Kind of want to unsummon the Guardians, play Blade Tusk Boar, but maybe I'm not in that huge of a rush to play the Blade Tusk Boar. Let's see if he takes it first. I mean, if he blocks, I am going to pump. Rather than play the Blade Tusk Boar. Alright, thankfully, circumstances worked out very nicely for us. So now, we're going to have a very good board presence. two cards we have remaining in our hand are absolutely insane. Uh, I don't have on summon up which is kind of a big deal but we're still fine. Uh, I suppose I could block with arsonist but I'm, I'm actually going to take six. Um, I feel like at this point we got enough pressure. Yeah, we're still fine. Okay. Chump away. Yep. So now we wait till his attacker step, bounce the dust mantle. Unsummon is an insane card. And he went straight to scoop on that one, so that is sweet. He must have drawn a land. Um, Unsummon is just insane in this format. Much more so than before because auras are like just Mark of Vampire, Tricks of the Trade, or just heavily used cards. Uh, maybe want to consider Negate. I know he's got mur I know he's got Murder. Um, Volcanic Strength doesn't do anything. Uh, Ring of Evo Sile. I mean, I, I, s I feel like Negate is going to be hitting something. But what am I going to bring Negate in for? That's another question. I might not have a good spot to bring it in. I mean, I do like stopping murders and Mark the Vampires. I mean, what are all my outs for Mark? I feel like it's just pretty much on summon. And, yeah, like a huge Volcanic Geyser, possibly Arms Dealer if it's on a 1-1. Mark the Vampire is a big deal against my deck. I really need a, a legitimate out. And the gate does that, as well as hitting some other things. Maybe I'm more interested in the negate than the essence scatter. It might be a mistake, but I'm going to try it. Mark the Vampire just straight up says win, so um, if I don't have the unsummon or the negate, I'm, I'm in big trouble against it. So I want to make sure I'm well equipped to deal with that. Uh, this hand's great. That was a good draw. Alright. So we've got our progression mapped out. I'm glad that we're well equipped to deal with Black White Exalted. That helps. 
So he's going to bash for at least three. Hopefully he plays an Aven Squire. That would be the best we could hope for. Or just a two toughness. One or two toughness creature would be ideal. Because I would like to get more value off of this Flames. If he doesn't play anything... Alright, if he did, since he didn't play anything, I'm going to do the Torch Fiend instead. It does open me up for Mark the Vampire, but we'll have Flames of the Firebrand to kill it, so that actually doesn't matter. Um, I mean, Flames, I guess, is going to make better use of my mana now, but I can still do the Torch Fiend and be happy with that. I mean, our hand looks very strong. Hopefully he just marks, gets it out of the way now. We'll just blast the Knight of Glory. If he doesn't progress the board, okay. I was going to say, if he didn't progress the board there, I was going to be like, ready to drop that Blade Tusk Boar. Um, but it turns out we actually just have a sweet line here. So we're going to be able to board sweep him, <clears throat> and he's left with three cards in his hand to our four, which are all good cards, especially since we're going to renew this Flames of the Firebrand. Um, I guess we leave up on summon, even though we don't have it. It's a pretty big blowout. can tell he's not happy about it. I feel like he's probably got Mark the Vampire in his hand, but we'll see. Um, so plan is, I think, Blade Tusk Boar first, then Archaeomancer. I guess it depends on what he plays. But we also have the Chandra Fury, so if he drops like a Avon Squire or something, maybe it's more worthwhile to do the Fury. I don't know. Um, Alright, well he's got the out to the Fury now. So maybe I want to do Archaeomancer first. Negate. Alright, so... Fortunately, I can't do anything and leave Negate up, which means if he does have Mark the Vampire, I'm in big, big trouble. But unfortunately, he's put me in a position where I have to play something this turn, because he's got me on a better clock. So if he has Mark the Vampire, I'm in big trouble. I could take one round of attack, but then I'm still counting on drawing drawing land. Yeah, Mark the Vampire is going to wreck me pretty good. Is there anything I can do about that? Hmm. could leave up Chandra's Fury and Negate. Alright, one turn only. Just this turn. Um, kind of weak. Alright, if he doesn't have Mark, it's a very weak play. If he does have Mark, it's very good. Alright, well now it actually looks pretty good. At least I'm going to hit that Servant. So I'm actually going to do it now. before he gets the exalted. It makes more sense. So I'm not going to hit the shade, but I did have a servant and hit him for four. So it's, it's satisfactory. Alright, and he's fully pumping it too, which is very ballsy. Um, let's see what we get off the top here. Land is actually good. Now we can leave up negate. So I think the plan is swing with turn. and drop Archaeomancer into Chandra's Fury. Is that right? Six. Or is Blade Tusk Boar going to be more potential damage? If I do Chandra's Fury, I'm going to hit him for four next turn, plus another three. It's not lethal. So perhaps Blade Tusk Boar is better, or Flames of the Firebrand. 
Um, let's do our Kaomancer. No, then I actually I can't even do our Kaomancer. That's right. I need to leave up negate. So blade test bore is really our only option. Hopefully we stop the mark here. I really want him to just play mark, get that out of the way. If he plays mark, we're we're pretty good. He did not play mark. If he plays murder, I'll negate that. feel like he's, if he had Mark the Vampire, I feel like he would have tried to play it, so, um, I guess I hope he tries to murder? Sarah Angel is a ridiculous bomb to get there. That's pretty painful. Um, alright, another land. So, we have enough now to, oh, wow. Yeah, this is going to be devastating. Let me make sure I can do this. Oh, my God, devastating. Devastating. We're going to swing with both, and either way, amazing things are going to happen this turn. We're either going to wipe his board or kill him, so, I mean, obviously I prefer kill him, but he's going to block this Welkin turn. I'm going to play our Kaomancer and bring back Flames of Firebrand and then wipe his board. So that is pretty silly. I think he sees it coming too. All right, he just seeded after that. Yeah, wow, that was devastating, absolutely devastating. Um, Flames of the Firebrand and Arsonist are just so amazing in this match. I mean, he didn't even see like a ton of exalted guys, but if you're just dealing with any number of exalted guys in a deck, like just these guys, and just doubling up on value with Flames of the Firebrand is so insane. It really does. It is. It really is the reason why it's the best removal in the format. So, all right. I'll see you in the finals. This deck's doing great.